everyone, this is going to be the start of a vlog type video but I don't actually know what footage is going to be in the vlog. I don't actually think I've got very much so I think it's going to be really bad. I also look terrible right now, my hair is so greasy and just bit of a mess but um, I was planning to put up a vlog this weekend because I went and got my nose pierced and I do have footage of that but I just didn't film anything for the rest of the day or before so I just have like like a one minute clip of me actually getting it done um, so I was gonna like introduce it on here so it might be a really short video and I'm sorry about that um, because I am actually trying to actually post weekly videos I've been trying to generally get them up on a Saturday um, but I have a better plan for like the upcoming weeks um, so hopefully I'll actually do them properly and they'll all turn out okay so um, yeah this is just gonna be a little vlog of me getting my nose pierced so this is the piercing footage it's silence because there was loud music playing I didn't want it copyrighted but um this is the needle going in, you can hardly see it, so... That's how it was, and I had to take my glasses off because obviously they would have got in the way, so... I look so relieved afterwards, Oh. video you'll, you'll hear me say did you actually do it because I didn't realise that he'd done it I thought the clamp was that hard or it also kind of felt like it had gone halfway through and not all the way through um so it's kind of like I didn't realise and he pretty much did it straight away after he put the clamp on so I, I literally had no idea on a scale of one to ten it's probably only like a four or a five in pain like it's over so quickly and also it's healed so much better than it's only been like it's not even been a week yet and it's healed so much better than an um, ear piercing so I do have to wash it with salt water twice a day um, but that's completely fine it kind of hurt afterwards it felt like it was bruised and I could kind of feel it all the way up my nose but like the day afterwards it literally doesn't hurt at all like I can kind of touch it and it doesn't hurt and if I sneeze it doesn't hurt and it's literally completely fine so I have been told that we should keep them in for three months until it's fully healed and then we can change it so when I can change it I'm gonna get a hoop but if you're thinking of getting it done it's literally fine like I was really scared before but going into it afterwards everything was completely fine hello everyone so I thought I would do a little vlog today um, because then it makes me able to mix in this vlog with when I got my nose pierced because I didn't actually get very much footage of that day and I don't want to just put up like a two minute video um, but all as well with a nose piercing it feels so much better than an ear piercing like it doesn't hurt at all and I've been keeping up with cleaning it and I can't wait to change it even though I literally have to wait three months I feel very bright so this day today is going to be quite a like normal like lazy not very like not doing very much day in my life because it is um, tipping it down with rain. I can't really tell, but it is wet, believe me. Um, so I thought I would do, oh, I really was zoomed in before, wasn't I? Thought I would do like a little vlog thing. Um, so as I said, so I can mix it in with my ear piercing, ear piercing, nose piercing, little vlog thing. So um, I just like, it is kind of late now that I've started this. I think it's like 11 maybe. I don't know where my phone is, but oh, it's here. Yeah, it's like 11 and basically I need to tidy up my room. And um, one of my, so I have all of my, some of my coats hang up on hooks and 
they're like sticky ones so one of them's come off so I need to sort that out and then it's just and then I've got a load of rubbish down here and I did also clear out all of my um, school stuff so I need to sort out the books that I'm keeping um, I took a few clips of that to show how much stuff that I had this will probably go in a little vlog um, but I'm sorting out all of my A-level stuff got Megan Short on the YouTube there literally one of my favourite YouTubers at the moment um, but I'm finding it a bit difficult to decide what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of as in like I'm scared that I need to keep stuff just in case they ask me about it again but I don't think they will because obviously it's past results day now I'm not in focus at all it's past results day now so I shouldn't need to show any of this stuff um, so that I'm going to keep like all my chemistry flashcards I'm actually going to keep them because it took me so long to write them all and I feel like I can either give them to someone else or just keep them as like a little mem um, but so far I have all of this media stuff sorry I've just got some washing there that I need to put away all of this media stuff and then I've just this is all chemistry stuff I've just started going through this I'm literally just piling up all of the past questions I did just to find out how many I actually did because that's so much so much stuff now I've got like empty folders all of my art stuff is in this folder here all the stuff that I have at home with me I'm keeping all of that obviously because it's art stuff and um, that's kind of sentimental to me and I also worked really hard on it all of these flashcards for chemistry like every single one of them have something on it I did like I think all of the topics apart from two and for every topic I did every single spec point like literally every single spec point um so that's a bit disappointing i think it's using that's why i said i might try and find someone who might want them so this is all chemistry um past papers questions i guess that's kind of all for science revision it pretty much is just all past questions these are all like exams questions and just all revision stuff like the amount of I mean mostly I'd print off at school so I was using their paper and not at home but like it's just oh like I really did work hard to get a C and I didn't even get a C like mate oh okay Thank <laughs> you.